Hello and welcome to the incredible city of Porto in Portugal. This city is one of the most historic and vibrant cities, not only in Portugal, but in the whole of Europe. It sits at the mouth of the Douro River, which meanders its way through the stunning Douro Valley from west to east all the way into Spain. Not only is the country's name derived from this city's name, it is also one of the most famous wine-producing regions in the world. If your bottle of port is not from here, it's not allowed to be called port. So, with such a monumental history and reputation, we've come here to explore it and to show you just how jaw-droppingly beautiful and historically fascinating it is. Scenic and Emerald Cruises invited us on board not one, but two of their ships to show off this beautiful region. We shall be travelling up the river to the Spanish border on the Emerald Radiance, and back down to Porto on the Scenic Azure, so press that subscribe button because we know you're going to enjoy this vlog as much as we did making it. We start by giving you a quick tour of the Emerald Radiance, the smallest of Emerald Cruises' fleet of starships in Europe, and built in 2017 to a bespoke design specifically for the Douro River and its many locks and low bridges. In our vlog we will show you these in detail, and the way these obstacles are handled, and they make for exhilarating cruising. If you're one of the lucky 112 maximum guests, the first area you encounter on board is the reception area on the horizon deck, with this eye-catching chandelier over the stairwell. A handy wall screen gives you up-to-date daily information about your current location and the daily program. For those needing extra accessibility, there is an elevator that spans all three guest decks. Also on the Horizon Deck is the Horizon Lounge, the main social venue with a large indoor seating area and a baby grand piano for the Emerald Cruises resident artiste to gently croon you as you sip on those evening cocktails. Just inside the lounge is a handy self-service hot and cold drink station, complete with complimentary speciality teas and a really decent coffee machine. There's also a really good water dispenser, dispensing chilled still and sparkling water. Oh, and they do some devilishly good cookies here too. Yes, I am weak, and no, I couldn't resist them. The bar stretches through the lounge towards the front, and in the front half of the Horizon Lounge is a little cafe-style area which serves early breakfast pastries, light lunches, and snacks throughout the day. This ship may be small and immaculate, but it sure does like to play large and dirty with my snacking weaknesses. At the very front is the Terrace, a sheltered outdoor area where you have some pretty stunning bow views of the river stretching out in front of you. This was our favourite place to while away our time on board. Crafty plate of nibbles in one hand and a glass of something cool and Portuguese in the other. There really was no better way to relax. Downstairs now to Vista Deck, and the stairwell area here is just as impressive as the deck above featuring this playful wall display of these vibrant and colourful ornamental roosters. The rooster is a symbol of faith, good luck and justice in Portugal, and you'll see them everywhere. Pass the cruise directors and hotel managers' desks, and you'll find the Reflections Restaurant, the main dining venue, which follows a similar stylistic theme to the Horizon Lounge, with glossy black and white surfaces streaked with modern LED feature lighting. Emerald Cruises serve breakfast, lunch and dinner here, and we'll show you more about that in an upcoming voyage vlog. Down the stairs one more time to the Riviera deck, and you'll discover a small gym. When I say small, what I really mean is, well, you know Apple do an iPad mini, Mercedes produce the smart car, this is the gym version. I like to call it the Nano Gym. Next to the Nano Gym is the wellness room for massages and treatments, and also a small hair salon. 
let's go up on deck now where you'll probably be spending a lot of your time given the incredible views the Douro Valley will reveal to your enraptured eyes. The sun deck on Emerald Radiance is not short of seating or lounging space. There are chairs, tables and reclining deck chairs aplenty and lots of shady canopied areas too for sun dodgers like me who like to stay out in the fresh air but undercover. The whole sun deck is specially designed to be able to fit under the low bridges that you'll encounter in the Douro Valley. We can't wait to show you one that was so low they had to lower the canopies, the navigational bridge, it's hydraulic and sinks into the deck, and even lie the deck chairs flat. We all had to duck to get under it. There's a walking track clearly marked out too and it stretches around this beautiful designed heated serenity pool. There's also a large barbecue area out here for those celebratory lunches. More of that in the vlog. Lastly, there's the extremely comfortable accommodation, which I'm afraid we're not going to show you in this episode. Here's a sneak peek at a couple of suites we're going to show you around in the next video in our Emerald Cruises series. That's all for now. We hope you've enjoyed our ship tour of Emerald Radiance. Please subscribe as we delve deeper into the gorgeous Douro Valley and the Emerald Cruises experience in our next episode. Thank you, or as they say in the Douro, Obrigada.